This pandemic turned our lives upside down. Many things that we took as granted are no more. Staying home alone or in quarantine makes us depressive and lonely. This is why depression, loneliness, anxiety took over the world. We are afraid to interact with our family and elderly to be sure they stay safe. Days just pass by one by one and we can't find anymore something to hold on to. Some of us lost their job, their social life, their savings or their loved ones. We just wait for someone to come and save us. But this is the time we have to face our own fears. No one will come to save us from this crisis. We have to accept this reality and become our own saviors. Yes, it will be hard, but with a positive attitude, kindness, empathy, love, we will come out of these pandemics even more powerful. So let's start and tackle our problems. It doesn't matter how big or small those are, just move forward and solve them one by one. That satisfaction will empower us all to be better, help each other out and live a better life. Merry Christmas and a blessed new year. We will cook a traditional and one of the most important recipes in Romania. It is called sarmale, which is an amazing stuffed cabbage roll. For this recipe we used smoked pork shoulder and smoked pork ribs. For the ingredients and the exact amounts, check the description below. We start by grinding the pork shoulder. We add the minced pork meat and we season with salt, ground pepper and thyme. We mix everything well together. We continue by dicing up a white onion. We dice it fine. In a hot pan with vegetable oil, we sear the onion until translucent. We add the rice and we sear it for a minute. We don't want to burn it. When done, we take it off the heat and we let it cool for a minute. When cold, we add it to our meat and we give it a good mix. Last, we add some cold water to the mix to make it fluffy. This is a crucial step to be sure that after cooking we get a fluffy tender meat. We 
we need one more ingredient, the pickled cabbage. In our region, almost everyone has a cold, dark place where he stores this amazing ingredient. We preserve the cabbage in a salty water brine for months in the winter. We love it because of its properties. The cabbage is salty and sour, and because of the salt content it releases its juices, and you can get an amazing liquid which you can use to give sourness to soups or other dishes. You can make the cabbage rolls with fresh cabbage too, if you don't have the pickled one. Preparing the cabbage leaves is straightforward. We unpeel them one by one and we cut the thick stem. We want it thin so we can make the rolls easier. For a more rounded flavor, we always use a ceramic pot. We let it soak in water for 12 hours to be sure that it doesn't crack on the heat. We add some sliced cabbage on the bottom of the pot, along with a few branches of thyme. This is our base for the cabbage rolls. We do this to be sure that the rolls don't touch the bottom so they don't burn. We make our rolls as you see here and we lay them close to one another. You need to be gentle when making them because the leaves are fragile and they break easily. The sides need to be closed well to be sure the minced meat won't leak during the cooking process. We usually add some smoked pork ribs in between the layers. We made two layers, but if you want bigger amounts, you can put as many layers as you want. You just need a bigger pot. Last, we add the water and some pickled cabbage juice until it almost covers the rolls. We cover it with the lid and we cook it on the lowest heat possible for 3 hours and we check them from time to time. If the liquid evaporates, then add some water. At the end, you will get some amazing delicious cabbage rolls that will blow your taste buds. We serve them with sour cream and freshly baked bread. Try it out and let us know what you think. If you are looking for a cheap but delicious dessert that can be done in minutes, then check out this link in the upper right corner. Also, if you enjoyed our video, then feel free to subscribe, like and leave a comment below. See you on the next one.